Our activities here have to do with landscape rewilding. And the notion of trying to advance that kind of work is that there's a huge potential in the northern boreal peatlands, forests, rivers and lakes to come back into health. We are not saying that they are primary habitats. That's of course another story. But the quantity and the scale of damaged ecosystems vouches for a huge potential to rewild and restore habitats that are then safe havens for climate security, biodiversity and for local communities. We are of course tackling a legacy of century of destruction of habitats. Almost 95% of the old growth and natural forests have been lost over the past century in Finland, as well as over 5 million hectares of northern peatlands. Finland doesn't have oil and gas, we are a superpower of peatlands. Unfortunately, so much of those uh, peatlands were ditched, churned, and utilized by the industries over the past decades. So it's really that, that mission of trying to restore, rewild and nurture them back into health that's guiding our work. And because of the flyway of many birds, these actions matter also on the global and European level. A lot of the birds come here to nest and uh, have their offspring and that's why we are helping also European level biodiversity as well as water quality and ultimately climate security because we are restarting large amounts of natural carbon sinks. Well, the first and foremost beneficiary of what we do and of our work is of course nature herself. But secondly, we are also having a list of local and indigenous communities that are um, benefiting from all of our work. Essentially, we are handing over all of our rewilded sites back into co-management, co-governance and the use of land, land use and occupancy by the local communities here in the north for their um, traditional activities. And ultimately, we are servicing humanity as well by creating these carbon sinks, biodiversity hotspots in ways that don't generate profits and only uh, happens for non-profit purposes. Rewilding has a tremendous potential to solve the biggest crisis of our time. Actually, two of those crises. A huge solution on restarting carbon sinks and natural carbon trapping, so-called nature-based solutions, and also alleviating the biodiversity crisis. No city can survive on its own. It needs the surrounding areas for food security, pollinators, food water, healthy water, and networks of how food and these other commodities are trans, um, transformed and transplanted between systems. And that's why the actions can be upscaled all around the world. More specifically, the peatland restoration could be replicated fast in Sweden, Northwest Russia, Canada, parts of Alaska and here. Let alone in Finland, we have about 5 million hectares that could be worked on today. And that represents one of our best and quickest chances of hope in the fight against climate change uh, in scale and being a very cost effective action. So many ways we have already won because out of these amazing delegates and nominations we have come to a place of being a finalist. And we don't view this as a competition. No matter who one of us three organizations comes and wins, uh, has already tested and shown the quality of their work. First and foremost, I think for our organization winning or being as a finalist shows that the work that we have done committed on traditional knowledge, cultural heritage and science to rebuild and restore our homelands has value. It's a great source of self-esteem for very remote communities, especially the Sami and the Sami women who are working with us. I have recently been exchanging with one of the, them, Paulina Fyodorov, who is a school Sami leader, and she wrote in a scientific paper that it's the Sami women who feel in their bodies the damages that are happening. 
if we are in a position to alleviate any of those damages and heal some of that damage that has taken place, then we are being recognized, recognized today not because of our hectares or scientific innovations or commitment to some kind of projects. We are being recognized today for our courage to embrace the unknown and do things that are for the first time alleviating a century of war against nature in these parts. And finally we are arriving at a peace.